Delta Telebridge and MCPE with the new control, I recommend that you go ahead and use the crosshair interaction model. First thing you want to do is you want to take note of this button over here. This is the auto placing block buttons, the jump button, the crouch button, and over here is the sprinting button. Now telebridging is a bit more complex, which is why we're first going to be practicing it on the ground and then we're going to be doing it in the sky as well. But essentially what we're doing is we're going forward and then we're going to go backwards making sure that we do bridge throughout the entire thing. So go forward and then do a 180 spin like this. In order to practice, I recommend that you guys first start practicing backwards bridging over here where you essentially just bridge backwards like so and it should be pretty easy once you do that. But please make sure you become familiar with backwards bridging before you continue on tele bridging. But once you started practicing enough on the floor, then you can move your bridging to the sky. All right, so here's where things get very challenging. Right before the ledge where you're going to be bridging, I recommend that you go around like three blocks backwards over here and actually place a block over here this will give you sufficient momentum like so and then like that you are able to do your 180 spin in order to actually tele bridge it's also really important that you try to keep your crosshair to the center of the block as much as possible try not to move it around everywhere since that will actually cause you to fail the jump bridging method and stuff like that but once you keep your crosshair in the middle it should be relatively simple tele bridging remember boys practice makes perfect see you later french fry